Hey, my name is Victoria and today we are going to talk about WordPress security. Let's go! WordPress is the most popular content management system powering a lot of websites. Unfortunately, its popularity attracts a wide range of hackers who take advantage of the platform's security vulnerabilities. This doesn't mean that WordPress has a poor security system. Security breaches can also occur as a result of users' lack of security knowledge. If your website is hacked, you risk losing important information, assets, and credibility. Additionally, the breach may put your customers' personal information and billing information at risk. So, today we will go over the best methods to improve your WordPress security. WordPress releases software updates to improve performance and security. These upgrades actually protect your website against cyber attacks. To see if you have the most recent WordPress version, log into your WordPress admin area, go to the dashboard and then updates on the left menu panel. If it indicates that the version is out of date, I recommend that you update it as soon as possible. I also recommend that you update the themes and plugins on your WordPress site. Outdated themes and plugins may cause conflicts with the newly upgraded WordPress core software, resulting in problems and security risks. To update your outdated themes and plugins, go to your WordPress admin panel and click Updates like we did before. Scroll down to the Plugins and Themes sections and check the list of themes and plugins that are ready for updates. All you have to do now is click Update. One of the most common mistakes people make is using usernames that are easy to guess, such as admin, administrator, or test. This increases the chances of brute force attacks on your site. Also, attackers use this form of attack to target WordPress sites that don't have strong passwords. So, make sure that your username and password is unique and complicated. It's also important to check the network before joining. If you unknowingly join a hotspot honeypot and network run by hackers, you risk leaking your login details. Even public networks such as the Wi-Fi in the school library may not be safe as they look. Hackers can intercept your connection and grab unencrypted data including passwords. So when connecting to a public network, you can use a VPN. It protects your online activity by adding an encryption layer to the connection making it more difficult to intercept data. When you enable a URL lockdown, you secure your login page against unauthorized IP addresses and brute force attacks. To do so, you will require a web application firewall service such as Cloudflare or Security. You can also limit access to your login page by modifying your site's HT access file. By adding this rule to your HT access, you can limit access to your wp-login.php to a single IP address. So, attackers will be unable to approach your login page from other locations. To access the file, go to your HPanel dashboard and locate the file manager. Then open public HTML and press on HT access file. Here you can add your rule, but before modifying the file, I recommend backing up the old HT access file. In case something goes wrong, you will be able to recover your site easily. WordPress themes that have been known are illegal copies of the original premium themes, and most of the time, no theme providers are often hackers that add malicious code such as malware and spam links to the theme. And usually, these themes are sold at a lower price in order to attract consumers. So, once you install these themes, you can serve as a backdoor to additional issues that could damage your WordPress site. Also, because these null themes are published illegally, the developers won't support you if your site faces any problems. This means you will have to find out how to fix the theme and secure it yourself. So to make sure that it never happens, use a WordPress theme from the official source or trusted developer. If you are looking for a third-party theme, check them on official theme marketplaces like Theme Forest. Secure Socket Layer, or more famously SSL Certificate, is a protocol used to create a secure connection. When a visitor enters an SSL secure web address into their browser, 
or navigates to a secure page, the browser and the web server establishes an encrypted connection. Anyone who attempts to capture this data will only see a confusing mess of characters that are extremely hard to decrypt, which makes it more difficult for attackers to steal important information. You can easily identify a website with an SSL certificate because they have a padlock on the URL bar. A website with SSL will use HTTPS instead of HTTP. So if you don't already have an SSL certificate, don't wait and install it right away. Keeping unused plugins and themes on the site might be harmful, especially if they haven't been updated. Hackers can use outdated plugins and themes to get access to your site, increasing the risk of the cyber attacks. To delete unused WordPress plugins, go to your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Plugins, and then click on Install Plugins. Here you will see the list of all installed plugins. Find a plugin that is unused and click on Deactivate and then delete under the plugin's name. Also, if you are not sure how to delete outdated themes, you can do it by pressing on Appearance and then Themes. Click on the theme you want to delete and the pop-up window will appear showing the theme details. Click on Delete button in the bottom right corner. Implementing only one or two WordPress security measures won't be enough to ensure the safety of your WordPress site, but to help you track your progress in applying security measures to your website, you can download the WordPress security checklist which you will find in the description. And here are all of the methods that will help you secure your WordPress website. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Hostinger Academy for more tutorials. Bye!